Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tom Selly here with my first transmission for Live on the Cloud. Today I want to talk to you about remote file sharing, remote file storage, having a place on the internet where you can drop your files, be it video, audios, images, zip files, contracts, one central location where you can drop all of your things and you can invite folks to those folders and those folders actually live on your desktop and on a remote server simultaneously and the solution is called Dropbox. I started using Dropbox about uh, two and a half, three years ago um, because I had clients, retail clients that just didn't have the technicality to connect to a server via FTP, right? Uh, you know, just non-technical clients that I needed to share files with and I was looking for a simple solution and I remember when Dropbox first came out um, I just was blown away. There were some other services out there that weren't as good. Dropbox came out and I was like this is the solution and uh, you know they've been winning awards for their interface. It's so easy. So what is Dropbox? Quite simply Dropbox is a central location where you can put all your files. Now your files live on their server and their server is connected to the internet and that's the cloud, right? So what's great about Dropbox is you can access your Dropbox from anywhere you might be. You can access it from your Android phone, from your uh, iPhone, from any appliance connected to the web and you can make folders on your desktop, put your files in there and then it will sync with the Dropbox folder. Now the great thing is that you can invite collaborators or you can share documents with uh, you know, colleagues or family members simply by sending them an email. Uh, it's a light little app. It does execute at startup. I'll say it doesn't really take any system resources at all. In most cases you probably want it to just, just allow it to execute at startup. You can shut that functionality off though. But the sweet part of it is that, you know, if you want to share photos with grandma, if you want to share a contract with a client, you can upload them to the Dropbox, invite the client, the client can pull them down, and then anytime someone updates the folder, this is the cool thing. I can share photos, and, and I actually do share photos with my dad. My dad's got a beautiful garden, he's a, a secondary black belt, and he's got a gorgeous uh, Zen garden that he's built, and he's got all kinds of exotic flowers growing. So he loves to take photos and then put them in the Dropbox. And the sweet part about that is he literally will, you know, download photos off of his camera and he'll put them in the Dropbox folder on his desktop. The nice thing about that is that Dropbox will sync with its central server and it'll suck those files up, right? It'll little, literally make a copy of all those files onto its central server, which is on the internet cloud. And then it'll also update my folder on my desktop. And this happens all seamlessly. It's just such a sweet solution. So wherever you are, you can connect to your files. And what I like about that is that, um, you know, I have a, a nice 27-inch uh, iMac that I do all my creative stuff on. You know, I need a powerful computer and a nice big screen to do video and graphics and all that stuff. But there are some days where um, I might need to get some letters out or some uh, ad copy or whatever. And I want to leave, you know, because I work at home, and while I love my home, sometimes I just need a change, right? So I'll go to the coffee shop, and I'll be able to connect to my Dropbox folder. I'll be able to access all my documents uh, right from my little 10-inch netbook. And it's just such a sweet thing. I know those files are accessible, and really, if I had to um, access them via my phone, I've got an Android phone, it'll do that too. So I can't recommend Dropbox highly enough. If you don't, uh, already use it, you can visit liveonthecloud.com forward slash Dropbox. That's an affiliate redirect. We don't make one penny for that. The only thing we get if you sign up for Dropbox for free, the only thing we get is more storage, more space on our Dropbox folder so we can hold more data. That's the only thing we get. Uh, so feel free to check it out, liveonthecloud.com forward slash Dropbox. And this is installment one of Live on the Cloud with Tom Selly and Unlimited Profits. And until next time, thanks and God bless.